Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee from Skill Builder, and I've come out to North London to see Rob, who's got a bit of a problem with his drain. Now, this is an ongoing saga, and when he wrote to me and he gave me details of it, I couldn't quite believe it. So I thought, I'm gonna come out and have a look. So, what we've got here, what, what Rob's saying in his, in his correspondence with me, is that he's got a drain here, which is a sewer. It's adopted by Thames Water as with many other sewers. That, that was a change that took place in 2011 when Thameswater took on the responsibility of shared drains. So this is one of their responsibilities. So this section through to the neighbour was actually flooding and it was flooding into their cellar, causing a bit of a mess. So Thameswater came out and they cleared it out and they said that the drain needed some attention so they were going to relay that section through the garden there so they relayed that section through the garden they took up all the slabs they actually threw the slabs away threw those onto a skip they knocked down the brick wall at the end to give them a bit of access because we all like a bit of room to work and they got to work on relaying that drain now when they relayed that drain rob thought okay that's problem over bit of disruption but there you go that's done and then he noticed there was a backfall on the drain. It wasn't working properly. In fact, there was, a, there was probably a dip on it actually, not, not a backfall, because what they did is they laid each section as they went, and of course they ran out of fall. Rather than taking it from one end to another and getting your, your line all the way through, they ran out of fall. So they came back and they relayed it. They dug it all up again, dug all the slabs up again, relayed it, and this time they put a fall on it. So from the neighbors, through to the manhole on the corner where it goes out to the street, there's a nice fall on there. The only problem is that when Rob looks down his manhole, he sees that it's accumulating all the nasty stuff, you know, it's just flooded back. So that means there's a backfall on the drain, so it's all right when it goes that way, but in order to make it go that way, they've raised the height at that point, which means that his bit goes backwards. Now they say that's perfectly acceptable. They say actually they don't need to follow the building regulations, which say that you must have a fall of one in 40 on a drain. They say, we're Thames Water, this is a sewer. We, we're not governed by building regs, we do what we want. So they consider that to be an acceptable solution. Now what they've said to Rob is, look, we understand that it's, it's gonna build up a little bit, but don't worry because every three months we send a blooming great jetting lorry round, we run the hose through your kitchen, through your house, and we jet your drain. Every three months, for, forever. Free service, can't argue with that, but he's got the disruption, he's got all that rubbish building up in his manhole, and Thames Water are saying, that's a perfectly acceptable situation, that's what we allow, and it was a problem he didn't have before they did the work on that bit, so he's a victim of that. So if you think about it, even on economic terms, to run that drain from here back to here, put a decent fall on it all the way through, surely has got to be cheaper than spending the next 50 years or more sending a jet and lorry around every three months to jet his drain out. Thames Water say no. They say, this is an acceptable solution. This is what we're going to do, which is, to my mind, short-sighted. The other problem is that if Rob wants to sell his house in the future, at that point where it says that there are any problems, you've got to declare everything, he's got to say that there's an operational problem with the drains that they block up and it needs jetting every three months. Because if he bought his house and he hadn't told you that and the guy turns up with his jetting lorry and says, oh, by the way, I've come around to do the routine jetting on your drain, you'd be a bit annoyed that the vendor didn't tell you that small bit of information. But Thames Water, incredibly, are saying, no, no, legally, you're not obliged to tell the person buying your house about that drain problem, or even the surveyor about that drain problem, because it's not an operational problem. Well, I would argue with that. If it needs jetting every three months, it is certainly an operational problem. So we've made this little bit of footage. We're gonna send it to Thames Water, and we're gonna find out what they have to say about it, because Rob has tried. He's been through their complaints procedure. They've been out, they've declared their work to be good and everything to be hunky-dory and they've said you've exhausted our complaints procedure now so we've got nothing more to say on the problem you can now go to the next stage wherever that is but basically they're washing their hands of it so we'll find out what they've got to say
Dear Mr. Bisbee, further to my email, I'm pleased to confirm we've carried out a careful and thorough review of the points you've raised in your video in relation to our sewer repair near Mr. Smith's home. I'd like to assure you, the material has been viewed by senior members of our wastewater team and I'm happy to provide a summary of the facts surrounding the work we carried out. To begin with, it's worth noting the section of sewer pipe work from the manhole in Mr. Smith's garden to the boundary of his neighbouring property is private. In addition, the manhole in his garden is situated lower than the sewer. To clarify further, we wouldn't have installed it in this way. We would never touch this part of the sewer as it's a private asset. As quite rightly stated in your video, a neighbouring property suffered with the awful situation of wastewater flooding into their garden. I'd like to make it clear that we take these matters very seriously. As soon as we become aware of any operational issues on our network, we'll arrange for an investigation to take place as swiftly as possible. Depending on the circumstances of the situation, we'll visit on a priority basis. As well as clearing the blockage, we'll investigate the cause and whether any further work is required. During our investigations, after carrying out camera surveys, we found the flooding occurred as a result of a collapse in the sewer pipe to the rear of their property. A repair was conducted to rectify this. In the process of the repair, we found there's an existing backfall between the rear of Mr. Smith's property to the rear corner of the neighboring property. We relayed the sewer between the two manholes to improve this section of pipe. To confirm, this work did not involve raising the height of any pipe work in the rear of Mr. Smith's home. It was simply a straight replacement between two existing points and is likely to be a, albeit slight, improvement on the original build and I'm pleased to advise the pipework is now in better condition than it was previously. It's important to note our sewer network is fully operational at this time. However, as a precaution, we'll be doing three monthly maintenance checks with a view to changing it to a six monthly or 12 monthly depending on the condition of the sewer at the time of our inspection. Our commitment is to preserve the sewer system and ensure its smooth operation. We're not required to improve our sewers and we're not bound by building regulations. I trust this helps explain our position. Once again, I'd like to thank you for giving us the opportunity to provide constructive feedback on the content of your video. Our position remains the same and I trust the above helps explain our reasons why. If you have any queries or concerns and would like to speak with me, please don't hesitate to call me on 0800 009365 and I'll be happy to help. I'm available from Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Well, that's a pretty comprehensive response from Thames Water there. And in principle, I suppose you couldn't really argue with it. Let's face it, they never really wanted to take over the management of the sewers. That was something that was foisted upon them as a kind of a, a price, if you like, for taking over the lucrative water supply network. The government kind of said, you know what, we can offload this, get rid of it from the local authorities and stick it onto the water companies. So in a way, clever little trick, but okay, we look at this particular instance and that manhole is so close to the boundary that what we're talking about, by the time you take the brickwork out of it, is probably about six inches of pipework. Now, what Thames Water was saying is that that piece of pipework ran uphill. Now, I'm saying, why would it? You know, the Victorians, they built pretty well and they knew that water runs downhill. So why would they have had a little bit of pipe running uphill? So he didn't have that problem that householder didn't have that problem before the alterations were done to the drain so if we accept their idea that that manhole is actually lower than the sewer and they call the sewer the bit next door by the way then that's probably because that pipe has been raised very slightly there. And as I say, from that point where it leaves its boundary is only about six inches. So although they're saying they would never touch it, it really is such a minuscule bit of pipe. But you can clearly see that the water is having to run uphill at that point and it's not making it. And what I suspect has happened is that they've raised that pipe up as much as they possibly can to get the maximum fall down to the other side. So there's no harm in that but it does leave this householder with a problem so if you're buying a house and it's joined to a sewer and you look down the manholes or your surveyor looks down the manholes and sees that everything's running sweetly what you've got to consider in the future is whether something that's done to the next door neighbor's property is suddenly going to put you in the same kind of trouble as this particular householder it's just another little thing to consider when you're buying a property and of course because it's a public sewer, 
he has no right to touch it. I'm Roger Bisby. I hope you found that interesting and informative. And let us know what you think. You know, if you've had an experience with Thames Water or anybody else, any of the water companies, any sewer-related problems, let us know. <laughs>